In this video clip, I want to review the formula for the standard deviation of a sample. I put the standard deviation formula in this text box here, and I'm going to walk through the formula in this table in uh, Tinkerplots. Recall Sunflower's data collection set one. The unique thing about this data set is it's rigged so the mean will come out to be an integer value. So this is typically not the case with data, Typically, this is going to not be an integer. And let's get started. This formula is the one you would use for standard deviation, and my goal is that my students understand the formula. Basically, what you have to do is start on the inside. So we're going to, first of all, find the mean, subtract the mean from each data point. So I want to look at that in the plot. So we found our mean of 89, and it's plotted down here. I need to find the height minus the mean. So I'm going to use the ruler tool and I'm going to snap the ruler to a couple of these points. And we see that this data point, the height is 94, and when we subtract 89, we get 5. And if we go to the other side and we snap down to this particular plant, we see that we have 83 minus 89, which gives us a negative 6. So these numbers should be matching in this column. And sometimes that's really the only place where a student will make a mistake, is that they will flip the order of those two. Notice that the next thing we need to do in the formula is square these differences. So that's what this uh, fourth column is showing. And then sigma means to simply take the sum. So I've added all those up, and our sum is 1,396. The next step is to divide by n minus 1. So this kind of looks like we're taking um, the average, but we're not. So sometimes they say we are, but we need to be careful because there's a minus 1 there. And that's because we're working with a sample. So I took that sample, and uh, we've got that value. And now we need to finish up and take the square root. So here is what we get for our uh, standard deviation and in ticker plots we have two different options in the formulas. We can use this STD DEV or we can simply use S. I'm going to click on this and show you. Whenever you're working in technology you want to make sure that you understand the formula that you're using. So we've got population here but this one is the standard deviation and this is for a sample. So we want to go down here and look in any kind of technology, they're going to tell you what the exact formula is that they're using. And sometimes rounding can even make a difference. But this is their formula, and you see the n minus 1. And let's cancel that. Well, one other thing I want to show you is that we have this other formula that you kind of saw sneaking in there, and that's a population standard deviation. Well, what's the formula for that? It's simply just the n in the bottom. This denominator is n and not n minus 1. So this is a true mean, and this is sigma. This is for your population parameter, and this is your statistic for a sample. The last thing I want to show you is the standard deviation hat plot in Tinker Plots. So let's go ahead and put this hat plot on, and let's change it to the standard deviation hat plot. What I want to show you is which of these two formulas Tinkerplots is using. So when we snap from the mean up to the third quartile, we get the 11.8. So you can see that it is actually using the population standard deviation. So sometimes I will use the population standard deviation in some of the activities that you're going to see just because it's going to match that and the data set might not actually be a population. So I just kind of want to give you a heads up on that. But I do think this plot is very helpful for building intuition. So thanks for watching.